Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the March 18, 2008 meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority. Being called to order at 2.35 p.m., may we have a roll call. Authority members Draymond, Nincy. Here. Najarian. Here. Karazian. Here. Quintero. Here. Yousefian. Here. Chairman Weaver. Here. We have your reports. The agenda for the March 18, 2008 regular meeting of the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Thursday, March 13, 2008 on the Bolton Board outside City Hall. Thank you. Next, please. Next is approval of minutes. So moved. Second. This will stand approved as submitted. Next, please. Next is all communication, discussion. It looks like there were some absences. Were there? Draymond Najarian. Draymond and Najarian. Okay. We have stay from those, oh. uh, approving those minutes. They'll still stand approved with those two abstentions. Okay. Thank you for catching that. Okay, next please. Next is oral communication and discussion is limited items is not part of this agenda. Each speaker is allowed five minutes. Members of the Housing Authority may question or respond to the speaker, but there will be no debate or decision. The matter may be referred to staff through the Executive Director for an investigation and a report. I have no cards or communications closed. Next please. Is there any authority member or staff comments? Seeing none. Is there a motion, motion to adjourn? So, so move. Stand adjourned at 2.37 p.m. Uh, uh, <coughs> development. Who's the pro? Mayor Pro Tem is uh, Councilmember Yusefian. Okay. We'll make him vice chair. Okay. Uh, I'd like to call the order of the development agency of March 18, 2008. Maybe have a recall. Uh, maybe ha maybe have a roll call, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Agency members: Nigerian. All right. Here. Quintero. Here. Weaver. Here. Chairman Draymond. Vice Chair Yusefian. Here. Uh, your report, please. Agenda for the March 18, 2008 regular meeting of the Glendale Redevelopment Agency was posted on Thursday, March 13, 2008 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. Okay. What's next, please? Next is approval of minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, yes, if I was not absent. I was absent. I'll move. Is there a second? Second. The, the minutes will stand approved. What's next, please? Next is oral communication. Discussion is limited to items not a part of this agenda. Each speaker is allowed five minutes. Members of the redevelopment agency may question or respond to the speaker, but there will be no debate or decision. The matter may be referred to staff through the executive director for an investigation and report. Okay, there's no oral communication cards. Oral communication is closed, and the chairman is in the room, so Thank you. We'll Elvis, take over. Elvis has just left the building, I should report. Um, thank you, Councilman Reeves, if you... <coughs> City Clerk, where are we? It's round six uh, at the business okay. agenda. And for a recall as a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> he meant roll call. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> one second here. All right. Uh, and we have no uh, oral communications. We're done no. at six. We're at the business okay. agenda. Let's open the public hearing. Sure. At six days, public hearing director of development services regarding status report. Revocation of parking exception approved on February 13, 2007 for the property located at 240 North Brand Boulevard, the proposed Glendale Career College site. And A1 is motion revoking parking exception, continuing matter without further public notice, and directing agency counsel to prepare written findings of fact in support of the parking exception. Open the hearing. Okay, I just did. I close it. Well, not yet. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Weaver. I can manage this one from here. Uh, I'm sure. <clears throat> We had already opened the public hearing, or I did. Can this uh, reflect that? Yeah. Um, what I'd like to know is if uh, when we close the public hearing, if we have any input, we don't have any cards already? No. no. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll close the public hearing. Comments? Well, my only... Oh, Mr. Weaver. My own... Mr. Yeah, Weaver. I don't have comment comments. I make a motion. Is that uh, it's a disappointment. It's too bad because I think that would have been a, a great location for the uh, school. Would have helped local businesses uh, when they transitioned out. Hopefully there would be a new tenant to step in their shoes. But it didn't work, so that's that. Yeah, move 6A1, but with the comment, too, that it's too bad, not just for... Um, losing Glendale Creek College, but the fact that uh, if that structure had been built, 
all the 24-hour fitness patrons were going to be in a garage underneath, taking all that loading off the local surface streets. So I was down there in that area Sunday morning before 10 o'clock, and you couldn't find a place to park on Brand. And guess where they're going, either Portos or 24-hour fitness. Mr. Lansfame, do you have anything for us? Both. <laughs> uh, we have a report if you'd like to hear it. Um, I don't think no. we need to hear the report, no. but, but if there's anything new no, you'd like I, to do. I will say, as, as was referenced in uh, the letter from uh, Glendale Career College Council, uh, there is a potential buyer of the college. Uh, they did come in to meet with us uh, yesterday uh, that they may like to come to this location, uh, but would come under very different circumstances, much smaller operation, uh, obviously requiring less parking spaces. And we have just begun, in fact, yesterday, just begun talking to that group. So we will keep you apprised of, of any uh, proposals that they have to move into that space. Okay. All right. The deal just didn't get off the ground. It didn't feel right from the very beginning when we were talking about giving them a certain number of parking exceptions at the Orange Street Garage. And we were 25 spaces short or something like that, and, and it just didn't... Uh, it just didn't work. I remember spending a lot of time on this, uh, not just on this parking issue, but the related design issues for the San Fernando and Doran design. I'm not sure where that is at this point, but just a lot of time. Did the city recoup any financial remuneration in terms of fees that were forfeited or anything? I don't think there were any fees that were paid. Uh, certainly it was staff time. Um, it, there's a lot of things that, that we work on that don't come to fruition. Uh, I know this took a lot of your time as well as staff time. Uh, we too were disappointed because it was a good use there in the interim. Uh, it would have allowed Glendale Career College to remain uh, and then redevelop an important corner in the San Fernando Road corridor. So we too were disappointed. Um, we will get back in touch with the property owner and see if they have plans to uh, uh, different plans to redevelop that site. Councilmember Yusefian, do you have anything to add? Well, the only thing I could say, in seven years I've been here, I've seen projects come, projects get approved, we spend a lot of time on it, and for certain economic reasons, projects don't happen. That's just life. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, we give it 100% of our time, Every project gets all due diligence. We do a good job on it. Uh, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So, Salavi, with that, move the motion at 681. There was a motion. There actually, was one. I mean, so, second. Motion. Uh, before we move on to a roll call, though, I have a comment, and, and let's go to. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the agency. I just want to note for the record that uh, Council will be preparing uh, findings in support of the revocation of the parking mm -hmm. exception. Uh, if you note on your agenda, right. uh, it should say uh, in support of the revocation of the parking exception, not of the parking exception itself. Right. Just want to let you know. I would just thank you, and I'd just like to add uh, the only the only thing I'd like to add is about the the comment in the in the paper uh, and here a reference that. The, the the reasoning behind this or the rationale having to do with the time it took for this project to move move forward and I just uh, I reject that just for the record Mr. Yeah, Quintero. I, I agree with you uh, Mr. Drayman uh, if this college is uh, losing students or on the verge of closing it's due to uh, their management issues absolutely nothing to do with uh, with any real estate issues. Well, the, Mr. Chairman, there yes. is one other uh, reason. The property owner of the Grandview dramatically increased the lease permits beyond what the college could afford. They had no choice but to get out or try to get out. That's, as the paper said, they're in financial straits because they've continued to have to pay a higher uh, lease amount. Just can't afford it. It's, it's too bad. Okay. We have a... Uh motion in a second. If you would please, Mr. City Clerk. Agency members in giant? Yes. Quintero? Yes. Weaver? Aye. Yousefian? Aye. Chairman Dream? Yes. Next item. Any agency member or staff comments? 
Mr. Lansfain. Mr. Chairman, I have uh, one short presentation, if you'll indulge me. Uh, today is a, is a little bit of a sad day for us in development services. Uh, this is our last meeting for our Deputy Director, Dave Ahern. We don't need uh, a briefing on this. Dave, Dave, has been, uh, Dave has been with the agency uh, since February of 1997. 99, I'm sorry. And, and Dave jokes that uh, he's been around so many departments, either he knows an awful lot of jobs or he can't hold down a job. Uh, well, he certainly held this one, and he did it very well. Uh, he's involved in a lot of the things that helped redevelop this city. Uh, the GC3 project, Americana, he brought you Cavalia. He brought you uh, Operation Lion King when we had feral cats uh, in our firehouse. He was behind many of the... That was his fault? That was his fault. So we can... Uh, he was behind many of the projects. All these problems we have. He was behind many of the auto dealer projects that that continue to keep Glendale economically strong. Uh, I encourage all my managers to be involved in their community so that they know who they're serving. Uh, Dave certainly epitomized that. Uh, he's a number of things. Most recently, uh, Jewel City Kiwanis. Uh, Dave has stepped up. He's the co-chair of Relay for Life this year. He's been involved in in all the years. Uh, finally, I, I would like to thank Dave as a teacher and mentor, not only to me, but to the staff. Uh, he really does have a way of, of building a project, and he has imparted that wisdom on, on our staff. Uh, you can see it in, from our senior management, Mark Berry, in his, uh, his carrying out the Americana brand, uh, to our newer staff members. Annette and Elena, they're, they're just learning the process and, and it really is, they're learning from the master. Um, it is very uh, sad for me to see Dave go, but uh, as you recently um, adopted a policy of taking tax increment uh, in funding parks and, and Dave will now go build them, we just see this as an extension of redevelopment. Uh, he'll just work over in the parks department. So, uh, with your uh, permission, uh, Mr. Chair, we had a certificate prepared for Dave, and, and I'd like to present that to him if I can. I wish you would. Thank you. So he's going with the money. Is that what you're he's saying? He's going with. The, it was show me the money, and and we did. Mr. Chairman, uh, we have a uh, uh, we have a tradition in development services uh, in the redevelopment agency of pre uh, presenting certificates of appreciation uh, for many special people, and Dave certainly is one of those. Uh, I'd just like to read the, uh, quickly read the certificate. Uh, David Ahern, Deputy Director, the Glendale Redevelopment Agency recognizes and commends the efforts of David Ahern. Your efforts in the continuing redevelopment of the city and keeping it vital in your role as Deputy Director shows your commitment to duty and your interest in the well-being of the Glendale community. Your personal involvement in the community by participating in the annual Relay for Life event ongoing commitment to the Jewel City Kiwanis Service Club, and countless hours of service to many other Glendale organizations demonstrates your devotion to the community. Your dedication and mentoring in helping further the professional development of others demonstrates your selfless nature and passion for helping others grow. The Glendale Redevelopment Agency acknowledges and commends the outstanding service of David Ahern. It is dated uh, March 2008, signed by the agency chair, John Draymond and David, it's with great affection that I give you this certificate. Thank you very much. Would you please say a few words, Mr. Hager? <laughs> <laughs> no, just a few. Just, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very much. That's I really appreciate it. I really do. I've had a good time working in the agency and uh, continue to enjoy and, and be glad to have a job uh, after 26 years with the city of Glendale. So I look forward to, to uh, working hard and doing a good job in parks and, and working with all of you. Well, I'm sure I uh, have some uh, comments from my colleagues. Uh, Council Member Yusefian. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank Dave for doing a fantastic job in the redevelopment agency. I think as years Dave has worked in this city, his approach has been uncommon to many people who work for governmental agencies. In many cases, people find reasons to say no. Dave has had two mottos. How can I bring you to this city and how can I keep you in this city? 
And that's how businesses have been added to this city. Dave has gone out, brought businesses here, and he has worked very hard and diligently to keep them in here. When there is a problem, when there are issues, Dave doesn't use those problems and issues as a reason to just kind of get rid of the projects. He will find a way around it. And he always works with those businesses to make sure that they grow and produce more tax dollars, which helps the city as a whole. So, Dave, I want to thank you, because sometimes you go beyond what you're supposed to do as a city staffer or, or a worker in period. And I've seen you put extra time out of yourself uh, when you're not working for the city. You're out there mingling, talking to people, trying to bring new businesses in this town. And uh, so I just didn't want you to walk out of here from redevelopment agency and not know that at least this council person, an agency member, has noticed it. For as long as I've been here in city government and for as long as I have known you and I have not been in city government, you have been an exemplary worker. So if there's a way we can clone you several other times, that would be fantastic. Nevertheless, saying all that, I am very upset that you're leaving the redevelopment agency. just want to tell you that, especially since we have all these great projects that you worked so hard to bring in. So, But I know that you've been working hard with the new staff, trying to get them online, and, uh, and you're not going too far. So I think they know you where you are, so they'll be walking over to grab you when they need your help. So thank you very much, Dave. Thank you. Councilmember Quintero. Nothing but positive words about uh, Dave Ahern. Um, I think we've known each other at least 20 years, and uh, he has been a tremendous asset to the city of Glendale. Um, but in addition to that, I think what's particularly noticeable about his uh, years with the uh, redevelopment agency is all of the business people that uh, just love Dave and the work that he's done, whether they're small business people down in Adams uh, Square, large corporate types, medium size, automotive, uh, retail, whatever it is. I've never had a business uh, person in this city complain about uh, the work that he's done. So I think you've done a tremendous job, and, and you'll do just as well in the Parks Department, and we do have a lot of money going to parks. I'm sure it'll be well spent. For those of you that don't know, Dave started working for the city actually as a blue-collar worker. I won't say digging ditches, but uh, close to it. So he actually started as a blue-collar worker. He now has his master's in public administration, so he's typical of a lot of employees that have really started at working levels, manual type of labor, and then worked their way through the uh, system. And just to show you how diverse uh, this gentleman can be, Sunday afternoon I saw him uh, standing in, in front of a bunch of uh, hot rods at Verdugal Park getting all of the uh, classic cars to, to funnel out. He looked all beat up and uh, <laughs> working out of class and hassled. And yet uh, last night he was at the um, uh, EIR scoping meeting with his uh, coat and tie, and along with other members of the redevelopment staff. And getting beat up. Get, yeah, actually getting beat up verbally, <laughs> but uh, trying to get uh, uh, the residents to focus on what's necessary to uh, put together an EIR. So anyway, a very versatile uh, employee and a good friend of uh, all of the city of Glendale. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be brief. Dave, I'm looking forward to you bringing the same level of enthusiasm and problem-solving abilities that you have displayed in redevelopment to the Parks Department. And uh, I uh, hope to perhaps take the plunge with you uh, in our <laughs> soon-to-be-constructed swimming pool in the near future. I get it. Gee, gee how did I know about it? <laughs> Mr. Weaver. You got me. There's not much that can add, Dave. I know we have you in this building now. So yes, sir be easier to find you and uh, I also know that uh, I'm going to be watching very closely to see how innovative you are in creating large parks including soccer fields in South Glendale we'll do it. that'll test your your capability if you can sure. achieve there you can do anything sir good luck to you thank you 
And I'd just like to add, uh, uh, Dave, uh, my admiration for your work. And we first met uh, through my work with the BID in Montrose, and how helpful you've been to the growth of that district. And that's how we met. And I thank you so much. And thank you for your uh, your thoughtfulness and your friendship since my coming to the city. So thank you very much. And I don't think we have any other comments. Please leave the furniture. Take the cats with you. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let's have the uh, – were, were there any other uh, staff or, uh, or uh, agency comments? Okay. Like that? Move to adjourn. Second. We're, Second. We are adjourned. Thank you. Greatest is to last.